Sometimes learning new stuff kind of sucks. My desk lamp might be emitting UV radiation. Also the, stu- also the studio light. My hypothesis is the following. I suspect these two cheap LED lights are incidentally producing a little bit of ultraviolet light. Oh, and quick word to the legal and PR teams at Amazon and Target. Um, Please don't cease and desist me. I'm not defaming your products, I swear. I make the sensational claim not just from research, but from experiments. Step one, don't panic. Step two, what is ultraviolet radiation? Radiation, don't freak out. Not Homer Simpson radiation. Radiation as in she has such a radiant smile, like radiating, emanating from. Infrared radiation, that's above red. That's heat. Ultraviolet, that's below violet. That's UV. Experiment number one. Cyanotype. Simply put, this is solar paper. You stick it out in the sun and the UV radiation changes the photochemistry and then you have a picture at the end. Now, I am not a real scientist. I am a scientist at best. However, that doesn't mean that I can't try my best at doing a good experiment. So I have a control group. The sun. I used a pair of pliers because that was just the best heavy flat object I had on hand. This was from five minutes of sitting out on a sunny day in Southern California. Test subject number one. My blue desk lamp. Notice how it made an impression. I don't like that. Test subject number two. The studio lamp. Notice how clear that impression is. I super don't like that. But this last one's the kicker. I did it with an incandescent lamp just to make sure that cyanotype paper actually does react with UV. What if it was just reacting with visible light the whole time? Nothing! There's nothing! Do you know why there's nothing? Because incandescent lamps don't produce ultraviolet. One, why come it fades out at the edges? Well, I had the light directly on top of it. These were both under the light for two hours. Two hours, two hours, two hours. If it's producing UV, which it certainly seems to be, it's a small amount. Experiment three. So experiment one told me that there was UV light present of some wavelength, which one, who knows? The paper couldn't tell me. So I went online and I bought dosimeter, 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 photochemical stickers that react to UVC. And it produced the most unexpected results so far. So here are those stickers. Uh, Oh, shoot, you probably can't see it. I got to get up and fix the camera. The results of experiment three confuse me a little bit. The first one, that's the sun. Uh, After about 30 minutes in the sun, it changed only a little bit. I had this stuck on my person and did a whole time lapse. And then after about 25 minutes, I realized just because it's a personal dosimeter doesn't mean that it needs to be stuck to my person. So I got sweaty for nothing. The second sticker is the weird one. That's the studio light. Um, These stickers start out yellow, but it's mostly white because it completely bleached the sticker. It reacted all the way past red and into the base color under the photochemistry. And finally, the third one is my desk lamp. It produced seemingly almost no UVC as it didn't really react. You may be noticing I used a lot of hedging my bets language in this. Might, may, possibly could, because I can't say for sure. These were both pretty imprecise, albeit compelling, at least in my opinion. To know for sure, I need a UV meter. Uh, And they cost about $250 with shipping. So so if you personally have one, can I I borrow it? (laughs) If you know a creator who has one, could you send them my way? Um... And if nothing else, uh, if you interact with the video, my channel did recently get monetized. My last video made four whole dollars. So uh, if you interact with this, I might get enough views that I could just buy it myself. But until then, uh, don't shine your desk lamp six inches from your skin.